Nunavut, a territory with the youngest and fastest growing population. And despite potential for quicker labour force growth than other parts of Canada, in some of the 25 fly-in communities, unemployment rates are as high as 40 percent. According to recent Statistics Canada data, here in Kuluktuk, the rate sits at 30 percent. That's why the Katikmiu community is backing a two-month pre-employment course. Thank you so much for coming to Kuluktuk. Roxanne Halla is a mother of two. As a pre-employment participant, she's been job shadowing with the territorial government's economic development and transportation department. I had doubts. Yeah, I never had confidence in looking for a job because I didn't have a resume finished. And taking that, I learned to do a cover letter, a resume, and a resignation letter. Pre-employment instructor Ray Dix says the goal is to teach transferable skills and empower those who have spent some time out of the workforce. Uh, we did uh, setting goals, budgeting, self-esteem, uh, violence, family violence, lateral violence. W uh, one of the things is childcare. I mean, um, I think the birth rate in, in, in the north is so much higher. And, you know, like I, I've got a participant that's got six children single mom and I mean that in itself. Across Nunavut income inequality is worsening. While government and mining employees live in one tax bracket, there's other folks being left behind. The program also looks at what holds Kaluktuk Miut back from gaining and retaining work and how people can break free from cycles. The group chooses a barrier to employment and for a final project takes action to tackle that issue. You can present your mother-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> the issue that they did, which was food insecurity. So we talked about all those issues, and as the issues came up, individuals had experienced some of those issues themselves. For example, domestic uh, violence, food insecurity, alcoholism, drugs. In Kaluktuk, there's no food bank. So organizations like the Elder Society and Mental Health work to fill in the gaps. Pre-employment participants raise nearly $3,000 to help that cause. And this is going to help our community where We've done the serve and go, we usually do it on off pay weeks. It'll be very good for everyone too, especially the ones who need, need it and uh, need food to get by. The course wraps up in mid-December with four graduates. And already, Hala has a job interview for a position as a student support assistant. I'm actually excited to look for a job. I have so much confidence in myself. Charlotte Mark Jacobs, EPTN National News, Kolokta. Okay.